Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to make this cute clover stitch. I really, really like uh, clovers and I search on Pinterest and find this, um, find a chart when I crochet it. I really like the uh, results and I want to share it with you too. I made a smaller version for a sweater and a bigger version uh, for a balaclava. I'm gonna share this balaclava with you. Uh, so uh, wait for it. And uh, now I'm gonna show you how to make it with this y yarns. Uh, these are category 4 yarns. You can use any category yarn you choose and I'm gonna use 5.5 millimeter hook. If you are ready, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Let's start. Start with a slip knot. Then make four chains. Insert from this first chain, grab the yarn, pull through. Chain 3. That's my first double crochet. Yarn over, insert into this ring and make one more double crochet. Insert, grab the yarn, yarn over, pull through 2, pull through 2. So we have two double crochets, then chain 1 and into the same place put two more double crochets chain three that's our first set we are gonna repeat this uh, three more times now make two double crochets one two, one chain, and two more double crochets. By the way, I'm working around this tail too. You can hide this later, or you can hide it while you are working. Uh, one, two, three. Uh, I like to show you how I hide it. Make a double crochet. And while you are making your second one, yarn over and yarn over this tail too, okay? Insert, grab the yarn. I have four loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through three. Yarn over, pull through two. That's a way to hide it while you are working. Chain one. I made a double crochet and I'm gonna repeat this one two chain three if it's confuse you just work around it and you can use a, a needle later Two double crochets, one chain, two more double crochets. And when you reach to the end, you are going to make three chains. Join from this third chain. Make a chain, cut this yarn. Now oh, attach the second color. Attach, you can attach it from uh, anywhere, any corner you like. Chain one, 
two, three. I'm gonna put two double crochets here. That's the half of a corner. When I complete uh, turn around this uh, square, when I turn back here, I'm gonna make the other half. Chain three. By the way, while you are making this one, you can hide this tail like I showed you. I don't want to confuse you. So I'm gonna keep going. Chain three. Insert in the middle of this ring here. Grab the yarn, pull it and make a long single crochet. Grab the yarn, pull through two. Chain three. Into the corner, make three double crochets. Two chains and three more double crochets. Chain three. Insert here, grab the yarn, pull it, make a long single crochet, chain three, and make the corner again. One, two, three double crochets, chain two, three more double crochets. Chain three, a long single crochet, chain three, corner. Chain three and make one more long single crochet, chain three, make three more double crochets here. Two chains then join from the third chain. If this is uh, a little too fast for you, you can always slow down the video. Don't forget this. Okay? Now, Attach the green again, or the color you choose. Attach it from the corner. Actually, we can make a slip knot, then make a standing single crochet. It will look better. Insert into this space, grab the yarn. Yarn over, pull through two. That's a standing single crochet. Chain three. And into the same place, put one more single crochet. That's our first corner. Into this next three stitches, put three single crochets. One, two, three and without a chain yarn over twice we are gonna make trebles into this stitch this long single crochet stitch here insert one two three 
yarn over twice, insert here, grab the yarn, pull through two, two, two. One more time. Skip here into these three stitches, put three single crochets. One, two, three. Into the corner, put a single crochet, chain three, one more single crochet. I'm going to show you one more time. One, two, three single crochets, yarn over twice, three trebles, three single crochets. into the corner, put one single, chain three, and one more single crochet. Just repeat this, see you at the end. At the end, you're gonna make three single crochets, then join with a slip stitch. Then make one more slip stitch into this three chain space. Chain three, that's my first double crochet, I'm gonna put one more double crochet, then chain two. Put two double crochets into the same space. Then put one double crochet into each stitch. And into this treble stitch, put one double crochet. And four more. Into the corner, put two double crochets. two chains and two more double crochets and for one side you will have 15 double crochets repeat this complete the row in the end you are gonna make a slip stitch into this third chain and you are at the last row into the same space, put a single crochet. Into the next, put a single crochet. And into the corner, you are gonna make a single, three chains, and a single. Then put one single crochet into each stitch. It's an easy row. In the corner, again, you are gonna make one single crochet, three chains, one single crochets, uh, and you will have 17 single crochet for one side. Complete this row to see at the end. I reached to the end, now we are gonna close this nicely. I made the last single crochet. Just use a needle. That's my first single crochet stitch. I'm gonna skip this one. Insert into the second stitch. And insert in the middle of this last stitch V here. If you want, you can insert into this stitch. Uh, we create this, recreate this stitch as you can see. Insert here and with this way it won't look bad. 
than hide this tail. It's a little hard to uh, use this yarn. It has little bumps like that. That's good. And I like to give you the measurements too. Is it 12 centimeters, almost five in square? And that's all. Hope you like this. If you like, please thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Since crochet is my Instagram address, you can reach me there. And it's also my website, uh, Etsy, Revelry, Pinterest, and Facebook address too. Uh, that's it for today. Hope to see you again. Have a nice day. Bye.